Let your phone work the way it does or reorganize it to make the most of it. You can allow yourself to be constantly nagged with notifications or you can ensure only the good ones come through. And setting up your phone with the right apps to maximize productivity is an absolute essential. There are four things that you can do on your Android phone right now to really make the most of it. Let's get started. Okay, first, just like in real life, working in areas with distractions gets less work done, but organized spaces can get more work done. Similarly, having your phone's environment more organized can help you be more efficient with it. And for this, I use an app called Niagara Launcher. It's really amazing. It just replaces my current home screen into something that's a lot more useful. It's super functional. I can place the apps I want to see up front and the rest I can access with a simple scroll on the side. And it's really smooth. Now, obviously, avoid placing apps like Instagram or TikTok or Facebook, anything that can potentially distract you. That's the whole point, right? Unless, of course, your work is on those platforms, in which case you can't help it much. But hey, the launcher is super flexible, tons of features, and I can do a whole video talking about it. But no, you got to stay focused. All right. And that brings me to my second thing that you can do is to reduce distractions. Notifications are the single most enemy. It is what is not letting you build your focus and get good work done fast. And honestly, we like it. But hear me out, just do this once and you'll absolutely feel the difference. So most Android phones have a focus mode option built into digital well-being settings. And I've configured mine basis things that I do on a daily basis. So when I get into script mode, I only need a handful of apps that you know, I require to ensure my scripting process can function and only those apps can send out notifications to me. And once I start that mode, the phone locks itself into the screen where I can only see how much time I've stayed focused and it won't let any notification screw with my attention, but they'll appear at the end of the session right here. And just like that, I've got an exercise mode and a meeting mode. Now, if you don't have focus mode on your version of Android on the smartphone, no worries, I'm going to list a few apps in the description, which do something similar, if not the same. But now let's get on to the third thing, which is to maximize productivity. And it has to be the third thing because you can't maximize productivity until unless you've reduced all distractions, which is what you did in the first two steps. And to do this, I would suggest you add either of the two apps that I'm just going to talk about, starting with Tweak. It's a very effective and remarkably easy to do app and a weekly organizer. It's super easy to add a task. And let's say you couldn't do it one day, you want to take it to the other, you could reorder it and you can mark tasks as done or even edit them. The next one, which is also my favorite, is Todoist. It's a much more feature-rich to-do app that allows you to create projects, sub-projects, tasks, and sub-tasks, and even place reminders, both time and location-based. Adding a task in Todoist, it's extremely natural. You know, just write down the, the task, assign it to a project, add a due date, a reminder, and even assign priorities, and just, that's it, add it. What's also great is that you can place a Todoist widget right on your home screen, which is compatible with Niagara Launcher and always have your today's tasks in front of you by default. And if you want to add a task, you can just do so by clicking here. And you know what I do? As soon as I get to know there's a task that needs to be done, no matter how small it is, I quickly make a note of it and dump it in Todoist. And then every night before I go to sleep, I just reorganize it, give it like a due date. That's it. You know, that whole mental pressure of what I needed to do is gone. And this brings me to the last one. And you're not going to like this because, hey, frankly, I too was skeptical about it, but I tried it out and surprisingly, I succeeded. So I'm going to share it over here. Just hear me out. Life's busy, right? We try to do a lot of things. We try to juggle through a lot of different tasks and we try to be the best at everything that we do. So I use this app called One Deep Breath, which helps me channelize myself towards certain kind of tasks. So depending on whether I'm sitting to work or to read or to script or even just calm down and sleep, there are simple and quick breathing patterns that can set you to do just that. And this app does that so well. It's amazing how it worked out. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is BS, maybe. But how hard can it be for you to just try it three times maybe before you completely discard it? And if it doesn't work for you, throw the app out. But it really did work for me and I can't help but share this with you. Give it a shot. And I think that's it, guys. I mean, these are the four things that I think can massively make a difference in how you use your phone, what you use it for and how it impacts your life. Now, I'm all about productivity, okay? So here are two videos that you can check out if you wanna know how I use these apps to manage my day-to-day -day tasks and projects. And hey, if you did enjoy watching the video, 
here's the subscribe button for you. So make sure you do hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.